Hello guys and welcome back to another video and another speed build for you guys and this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So as you can tell by the title it is for runaway teens and I have always wanted to do a little house or trailer for a runaway teen or runaway teen couple. Um, so that's what this is. And then I have always wanted to do a trailer ever since I saw my first speed build trailer video on YouTube. Um, I believe it was by Miss Griffey. Um, don't quote me on that, I can't remember. Um, I have wanted to do a trailer in The Sims 4 and here we are, finally. I am building my first trailer. Now, I got inspo for this trailer from Avalyn YT, that's her name on the gallery, um, and I actually watched that video before I filmed this and built this, um, so that's where I got a lot of inspo from, um, I get a lot of inspo from her builds and Devon Bumpkin and Miss Griffin and just loads of people, um, and yeah, so I thought this would be like two trailers that were plonked on top of each other. Um, so maybe the bottom trailer had been here for some time um, and then the top trailer was just plonked on top of it. And I said, yeah, there we go, we're gonna leave these trailers like this. Um, so the bottom trailer, I decided to do in a lot of corrugated metal. Um, maybe it had been left to rust for some time and the top trailer I did in this wood um, that before recently I absolutely hated and now I really really like it so um, yeah I thought this the top one would be wood and the bottom one would be metal um, and they've just added stuff to it now I set myself a bit of a challenge with this as well and I only gave them 50,000 simoleons to um, build this house and renovate it and stuff like that. So I only had 50,000 simoleons to build this. It costs less than 50,000 simoleons guys. You'll be glad to hear. Um, but yeah I set myself that challenge. And yeah, so anyway, for stairs, I just gave them bog standard stairs, and then I used these wall dividers that are from um, Dine Out, uh, just to sort of create some sort of privacy for them. I have never used these before, and I really liked using them, and it is definitely something that I'm going to bear in mind when I next build um houses um so yeah uh as for doors i really wanted to use the one from get famous i absolutely love this mid-century door and considering i don't like mid-century builds I, I really don't like building in mid-century style um I love this door. I think it's because you've got the window section down the side of the door. That's what makes me love it even more. But it just didn't come in a swatch that I really, really liked, which was sad. So I end up using a different door, which I think came from Get to Work. I'm not sure. And then uh, windows. I wanted to keep my windows fairly small this is a small build and um, it's not a huge house it is built on a 20 by 15 lot in Oasis Springs um, so it's not a huge uh, house and so I didn't want the huge windows um, and I spent forever choosing windows on this lot like absolutely forever and you'll see that um, but yeah, so so you'll see on the interior that I've done these stairs that just kind of wrap around. 
Um, and I've sectioned that off with half walls and I've got a little bathroom on this floor as well. So what I thought is in that little nook under the stairs next to the bathroom, that is going to be my laundry area. So that's where my wash is going to go and um, my little laundry basket. And that's just going to be the little washer laundry area. And then the rest of it is going to be like an open plan kitchen living room. Um, I can't remember whether I managed to get a dining room in this one or not. Um, but yeah, you'll see me go through so many different floorings as well because I wanted something that matched the stairs but then also looked really old um, and as if it had been there for some time. So I went through so many different floorings and I ended up going back to the first one I chose. Um, which is kind of annoying when I do that. But anyway, moving on to the kitchen. And I used these counters from Parenthood in the grey spot. Like I say, this house is going to be very monochromatic. And I love this swatch. I just never get to use it. Um, so I also use a counter that has the sink in. And then I put in the stove and the fridge. All from Parenthood. So this is a very much Parenthood kitchen. Um, and I think I end up changing the stove to a white. Yeah, I do. Um, and then I just put the overhead counters as well. Above the windows. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I do in the kitchen. I do clutter it up later on. Um, so yeah. And then I section off the kitchen and the little hallway from my lounge. Um, just because I wanted the lounge to feel slightly more enclosed and a little bit cosier. But still keeping kind of an open plan thing. Um, so, you'll see that I do that. I also switched the fridge and the sink around. Don't know why I did that. Um... But yeah, I enclosed the lounge off a little bit and then I use a lot of tiny living stuff in here. So I use the tiny living um, sofa and the little poof thing, like table poof thing. And this is where I add colour in. So you get a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow, but nothing too major. Like I didn't want to go full whack colour with this. I wanted to keep it quite simple. Um, because it is a tiny space, I might do a build where I go full whack crazy with colour at some point. Um, but for this one, I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, I kept it quite simple in here. And then for the bathroom, again, I used the tiny living toilet, the Discover University shower, and then just this base game sink. It's quite simple, nothing fancy. Um, so yeah, and then I put my little washer and dryer in this corner like I said and I also put a laundry basket and I put the ironing board on the wall and I think that's all I do. Um, so yeah. So in the little hallway bit I put some rugs, uh, not some rugs, I do put a rug. Um, I also put a rug in the lounge, but I also put this little shelf, and then I put a mirror above it, um, and I thought maybe if they walked in from school or whatever, they could just plonk their keys on that little shelf, and then go about the day and they know where their keys are, or that's just where they sling their letters and ignore everything. Um, so I did that. And then to clutter up the kitchen, um, I believe I, I put in a bread bin. I also put in some cookbook. And I think that's it. I don't think I put much clutter in this house. So anyway, whilst I'm finding clutter and cluttering up this space, how is everybody doing in lockdown? We are on week six in the UK um, 
and not gonna lie, I'm finding it a little bit, a little bit difficult um, keeping myself busy, especially whilst Tyler's not here. Um, so yeah, how is everyone doing? Has anybody got any suggestions of anything to do that might keep me occupied? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, you lovely, lovely people. Um, and yeah, we shall get cluttering up this kitchen. Um, as you see, I don't use a lot of clutter, but what clutter I do use um, does keep it cluttered. Um, and does make it look as if it's been lived in for a little bit of time. Um, so yeah. So moving on to upstairs, and I am just putting half walls all around the staircase. And for me, it's created some lovely little nooks to put some stuff in. Um, as for my bed, my bed's going to go up this end, and I. Thought I'd keep with the colour scheme um, that I've got going on with the hints of blue and stuff like that. And I pop in this lovely double bed, um, which I thought was quite cute for them. And then you'll see in those nooks I put my dresser with a TV on and a little desk for them to be able to do their studies. And then I put in a rug and... I think I put in I put in a rug that I sized down. I also put in those little poops as bedside tables and I put in a little um I put in another dresser under that window. Um and that's about it. I love this dresser from uh Get Famous. It looks so cute and I wish I had a dresser like that in real life. Um, I really do. But the Sims dresses don't occur in real life, unfortunately. Um, and then I think I put that little Zen table on top of the dresser. I also put a guitar in. Um, maybe I thought he was a bit of a guitarist, a little bit of a rocker. Um, and yeah. So as for the walls, I bring a lot of the uh, wall furnishing upstairs that I had downstairs. I use that uh, blue wooden wall look um, upstairs as well as downstairs. I really like that. Um, and yeah. Wait, I don't use the poofs for the bedside tables. I use the suitcases. I feel like maybe they didn't have room to store their suitcases, so they turned them into bedside tables. And then I put some curtains in this build. I don't normally put curtains in houses. For some reason, I just, I don't do it. But in this one I did, I put these little, like, sheer curtains um, up, and I thought they were super cute. Um, and that's, that's what I did for my house. Uh, you'll then see me go on to do my little rooftop garden and I literally just layered these plants. Um, this, the plant I mainly used came from, I think it's Island Living. I'm not quite sure, but I really, really like it and I love the fact that it's got some cute flowers in and stuff like that. Um, and then I pop some other plants up there just to make it look even prettier. Um, so yeah, that's what I did with my little rooftop garden. Um, and then for outside furniture, I didn't really do much. I popped a little barbecue out the back and um, a table that I put three chairs in because I pushed it up against the wall. And that's really all I did did um for outside furniture i probably could have put more outside but i thought you know what they're on a budget my budget is running out at this point um so let's let's just pop in some little bits of outside furniture maybe they can add to it later on if they decide to stay in this these trailers 
and that's it. And then for uh, landscaping, I just brought the plants that I had on the roof down and kept the landscaping pretty much the same as what I had on the rooftop garden. Um, I didn't really change much to it. And that's about it, guys. So we will be moving on to screenshots and all of that good stuff. So if you did like this video, please click the thumbs up. Comment down below uh, with any video suggestions or any quarantine suggestions would be great. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I shall see you in the next video guys. Bye guys!